Hi, my name is Bruce, and welcome to our farm. We've been, uh, in my retirement here, we've been working hard on trying to get our uh, uh, live animals, our chickens, our guineas, our geese, and our goats and sheep, and getting them to live and cohabitate together. Uh, and I'm going to have a series of videos to say that some of the challenges we had in setting things up, getting them up and going, and keeping the animals safe. Uh, we ha even had to get rid of a few of our dogs because our dogs were attacking the sheep and killing them. But first of all, when you move out on a farm, you live out in the sun all the time, it's always good to have a nice hat. I got myself a nice straw hat that I can put on. The strap, it's windy today, that you can put up and keep from blowing your hat off all day long. But it's really good to have a hat to keep the sun off your face. But we'll talk about building a greenhouse or building a uh, a place for your chickens to roost, chicken house. You can see behind me we have our, our chicken fowl, and over to the right we have a bunch of our our, uh, our sheep and goats. And uh, we live out in 40 acres, we're all fenced in. So we allow the, the goats to run around the property, and uh, they're fenced in with the electric power gate, so we don't have to worry about them getting off uh, uh, getting it off the property. But we're going to talk about some challenges we have had in the last year or two years of getting our farm together and getting our, our goats sheep to cohabitate and and what we had to had to do to make things work. So we're going to have a series of videos that will maybe help you if you're planning on doing the same thing uh, as we are. Uh, and uh, what we went through to, to keep the animals safe and prosperous. And uh, and also, we have two nine-year-old twins, and I have some interactions that we have for the my kids and getting them involved in the chores and the, and raising the animals, and it really helps them in their development and, and growth. First of all, I like to talk a little bit about it. Here's my main garage building. Off to the right, I have our greenhouse, uh, which we'll go into a little more detail. But then we have our there's Billy out there, we, who's uh, running the property. Hello, Billy. Usually he'll come running over, but I guess he's preoccupied today. And then off to the to the left here, we have our chicken coop and our fenced-in area for the uh, for our chickens and our uh, our uh, geese and guineas. We have three species: uh, chickens, guineas, and geese. We did have a white Chinese goose that looked just like Aflac, and he flew away. And we end up uh, having to clip these guys' wings so if they get out, they don't fly away. So if you get geese, you got to understand that they might, uh, they always uh, pretty much across the board will try to migrate and you need to uh, clip their wings. 